Our quest. Our quest has got to be over, right? This is exactly where we're coming. This is where... What's-his-face told us... Yo. He's not here. Shopkeep. Shop... Dude, your music's off, too. Bird. Bird, what's going on? Tell me... Don't just preen your feathers. Tell me things. He's not even here. How can he tell me that? He can't. All right, there's, there's a crack in here, though. Should I check this? I mean, I don't know if I should check... Fine, I'll check it. You really thought it would be that easy? Um... I told you already, the cabinet is off limits. What are you doing out there anyway? Alright, one more time. <laughs> Please stop. We're not doing a special edition of the cabinet rant. I mean it. Don't be that guy. You're being that guy. Fine, be that guy. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Crazy how countdowns give the feeling something's about to happen, huh? But yeah, I got nothing. If you're hoping for something special, just give up on the cabinet thing already. The cool stuff is up ahead. Did I ever tell you about the guy who stayed late on a Friday and started writing optional dialogue to add comedic value for those who will bother looking? Imagine reading his ramblings. By the way, if you feel like the cabinet thing is overdone at this point, I agree. But it's totally on you for keeping on trying to open it. Seriously, you can stop this right now. I mean it. You have the power. Only you can put an end to this optional bit. Which is good, because I got things to do. If I repeat the same thing three times, will you think I'm out of flavor text? We're done here. We're done here. We're done here. I can't believe you. Why won't you move on to something productive? Like maybe advancing the quest you're supposed to care about? I'm not gonna lie. When the time comes, opening the cabinet will blow your mind. And I'm confident in saying this, even though I know you will be expecting a surprise. So how do you surprise someone who's expecting a surprise? With a meta plot twist, that's how. Now if you want to know what it is, move on already. I promise it's the fastest way. You're not opening that until the script says you get to anyway. Okay, I'll start looping back to the beginning now. Come on, that was a good trick. How are you still trying to open this? I thought you would give up when it looked like I was looping. If you keep doing that, you will have to sit through a boring tirade. It will be boring and philosophical, and I'll even remove your ability to skip what I'm saying. Fine, here's the- I really can't push A. <laughs> I can't make it up here faster. Here's some insights from Jordan the Wise for you. Life is going to come at you hard, so there are a few things you should know. Most important of all is realizing that you have something to offer the world. But, in order to do that, you first need to sort yourself out. Lending your ear to the lessons contained in stories of old is not a bad place to start. You see, as human conscience grew in knowledge, it equally grew in arrogance. We seem to be at this point where the value of stories is lost on us all. Not really caring about morals anymore, we are simply looking to be entertained but their power on our subconscious is by no means hindered by our intellectual pride. Stories send a clear message to our being, and when told properly, can offer guidance in how to live our lives, impacting us in ways we sometimes don't even notice. In fact, recurring themes more often than not represent archetypes. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced archetypes, but go on. And contain lessons on how to or not to behave. Consider dragons for a moment. Fantasy stories always seem to have them hoarding treasure. Not coincidentally at all, two of the biggest innate fears in mammals are fire and reptiles. So dragons are really a metaphor for representing that which you fear the most. Now why would an immortal fire-breathing reptile care to sleep on a pile of gold? The answer can be read between the lines. The treasure you seek is guarded by your greatest fear. Don't get me wrong, the pile of gold is as much a metaphor here as is the mighty beast that doesn't even exist. Find your dragon and slay it. Then your treasure will be revealed. This is the wisdom storytellers of old were trying to convey, only they didn't have the scientific method, a framework by which to structure arguments, or even a high IQ audience. The lesson isn't any less important or relevant today, however. That which you need, you most need to discover within yourself is hidden where you least want to look. Now ask yourself, why are you so curious about my cabinet? Are you a very conscientious person, adamant on leaving no stones unturned? Or have you not mastered your insecurities, and the fear of missing out is what's really driving you at this moment. 
Maybe you were simply hoping to get a laugh out of some unexpected one-liner? Because I'll admit, we both know I could kill the mood right now and tell you about, a depressed, about how a depressed clown once attempted to lift his mood by eating bowls of confetti. What I'm getting at is, regardless of your motive here, you have clearly demonstrated curiosity and faith that the world holds surprises for those who take an honest look. While that can certainly be said about the world, it's even more true about your inner self. Now, whether that is scary, insightful, or encouraging depends entirely on how far you have made your personal growth journey. Life is made of many exams, most of which will present themselves to you more than once. Betrayal, joy, illness, adventure, treason, cooperation, purpose, loneliness, warmth, loyalty. Indeed, just like stories old and new, life has recurring themes when testing humans. The important part is not whether or not you pass each test, but that you show up, acknowledge your score, and ponder how it can inform who you should become. From there, everything is there inside of you to help you find your own way. Who knows, the underlying meaning of the messenger's story might even hit you eventually. But for now, let's get back to your adventure. Uh, bait taken. <laughs> oh, okay, I told you. Alright, I hope he's actually going through it again. Okay, he actually is looping through. I'm done. I'm really done. It gave me an achievement for it. I'm sure that's it. Oh man, that took a long time. Kind of glad I did, though. Oh, he made it. Does this mean we can do the thing? Keep your hood on, Shorty. He still needs to pass the final test. But I want to do the thing. Now, now. We need to see how attuned to the scroll he really is. Great. Take it away, Prophet. Ahem. Welcome, messenger. Please hold the scroll aloft so that the prophecy might be fulfilled. Here you go. See, I told you he was slow. Yeah, you weren't kidding. Ahem. Please hold the scroll higher than that so that the prophecy might be fulfilled. There you go. That's, that's, that looks a little better. Uh, we're cloud seeding here. It's going to start raining any second. Oh jeez, this is bad. This looks really bad. I probably shouldn't have done that. Why did you tell me to do this, Western hero? He... He made it? Of all the messengers? Him? Please pull this off. I really want to do the thing. <clears throat> A gauntlet awaits you, messenger. Should you survive, find us at the top of the Tower of Time. Nothing? Okay. Glacial peaked. I'm going this way. Alright, I'm just kidding. Let's go back and see what the shopkeeper has in mind for us. I can finally purchase that upgrade. Alright, never mind. Into the tower we go. That is awesome. But I need a drink after all that talking. We're in the Tower of Time. Yeah, it looks really bad. Oh, we gotta use those to block our way. Okay, I get it. I get it now. Ouch! Alright, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough! Quarble! Why am I not good enough for this? We clearly have to go when I cross this way, because the other way is not fast enough for me, or I'm not good enough for it. Okay, I am kind of am. They intersected. Ha! Ha ha! Okay, one place done. Um, we're gonna have to do it this way, aren't we? Yeah, I got that for a reason. I knew it. Oh, how long do you take? Oh, it travels back up. That is actually really cool. Oop, I didn't see that one down there. <clears throat> this is not Flashman stage. Yo, Quarble, you can't collect anything here because there's nothing. Insta death, huh? There's nothing to get here, Quarble. Get out of here. I don't have that much health. That's why. Oh. <clears throat> okay. I know, perfect timing, right? I'm... <laughs> Alright, let's stop being stupid here, shall we? No! <clears throat> I don't know if I can make it through there. He runs so slowly, it's not my fault. I keep expecting him to move faster. He's a ninja, after all. Come on, ninja. Let's just hit them when they go the other way. I feel like that would be my best bet right now. Because this guy runs slowly. And I get killed every time. 
And I'm not looking forward to just doing this over and over again. So let's not do this over and over again, shall we? Aw, oh, man, that was my chance. Why did I hesitate? Anyway, we're going through. Pay attention this time. No. No, this is bad. This is very bad. I'm almost dead again. I'm sad. Okay, this time. This time, there we go. Whoa, 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 where, where am I going? What is this? Cool. But do I want to go in here? Is this the shop? Hey, man, your shop looks a little bit more fleshed out now. Cabinet time. Ah, oh, jeez. Quarble? I got nothing for you, man. I'm sorry, what? Ah, yes, the big reveal. Indeed, my dear adventurer. You had been teleporting into this very room all along. So, where are we? In the Tower of Time. And where is that? Surely you mean when? To be honest, I don't really know. The Tower is a device that travels through time. It manifests to test messengers who are deemed worthy, in order to relocate them as needed. Where will it take me? When? It will take you to the time most in need of a messenger. That is, if the Tower doesn't kill you, of course. Need anything? Uh, do you have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a land filled with bogs. And these bogs, they were filled with evil monsters. Sleeping underwater during the day, they were kept at bay by the moon during night time. Well, when she was kind enough to be around... Well, when she was kind enough to be around... After all, the moon was free to travel through space and often felt like shining her light on other realms. One day, the moon got bored and decided to visit the bog land in human form. Wearing a cloak so that her light wouldn't shine through, she hoped to catch a glance of the evil creatures. Getting more than people wandering haphazardly in cursed lands usually bargained for, she encountered a man fleeing from a small pack of monsters. Confident in her power, she removed her cloak, creating a glittering aura of protection to help the man escape. Escape he did, but as he looked back, he could see that his savior had put her cloak back on a little too soon. She was captured by the creatures, who then buried her under a rock so that her light would never shine again. They would rule the night. But our survivor was quick to gather a group of peasants who went to remove the big rock and set the moon free. A strong bond was formed on that day, and she decided to become their guardian. To this day, the moon is there to help guide, er, there to guide human travelers through the night. The end. Oh, I like that one. I guess it speaks to the power of cooperation? Maybe. To be honest, I only wanted to use the word haphazardly in a story. Okay, well, mission accomplished. Now I can finally get this thing that costs 550, because I got 575. Meditation. Checkpoints will now restore hit points up to 5 and refill all key charges. What do you mean, no? What do you mean I can't purchase thing? Um, is it because Quarble's here? Because he's gone now. He totally took off, so give me my upgrade, and I'll be on my way. Oh, it's locked out because I gotta get these other things instead. Okay. <sighs> Alright, fine. Because sorry, Jack, and concealed chain meal ch chest piece makes you more resistant. There we go. Now I can get it. Right? Yeah, now it's now it's available, but locked out. Prepared mind. Key charges plus one. Shurikens pierce one target. Healthy, sleeping, and eating habits give you more energy to use in combat. There we go. Now I can finally get the other two eventually. No, I'm gonna leave now. I'll be seeing you. Okay, so I can finally get the other two eventually now. So thanks for that. Oh, no, 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 none of this. None of this. Okay, I, I thought I was going to die there for a second because I kind of went through at the wrong time. My timing was a bit off. Yo, man, don't do this. Don't do this, wizard. Wizard. Wizard, please. Please, wizard. Okay, we made it. I'm out of here. Later. Um, what am I doing? Alright, I am not... I'm not going over there until I know what it does. Oh. I'm gonna race it. It's gonna kill me! It's coming! It's close! Oh, ha, ha, yeah. I'm alive. Oh, secret time. Secret time! Uh, what? Hold on, hold on. Am I actually going towards the secret, or...? Which way am I supposed to be going, game? I feel like down is a secret, because I had to destroy a wall to get to it. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is cool. We also have a 
a cloud step, so don't forget about that cloud step. Okay, there it is. I see it. Um. Oh, jeez. Alright, we're in here. We got it. Yeah. Nice. That room was actually kind of cool. You know, I saw a little bit of gameplay of Celeste, and I feel like it's kind of like that. Maybe I should play that, too. I mean, I purchased it with the intent of playing it, so why wouldn't I, right? Oh, okay, I almost died. <clears throat> now let's get out of here. Yo, seriously. I had a, I had a cloud step. That's how that works, right?